is Megan, and I am the new addition to Frankie TV. And I am so, so happy to be a part of the team. I am so excited to be working with you guys, teaching people how to create terrifying things. I am a special effects marketer artist, so I will be teaching you guys how to certain wounds and things and how to play with stuff. I am also a new artist so myself, so I'll be learning as I teach you guys. It's easy, it's fun, it does not take too long. For me it doesn't, so I don't think it would for you. It's, it's as long as you know what you're doing and that's what I'm here to teach you how to do. This and other things, you'll be golden. Today what I want to teach you is how to make a bullet. regular makeup on where you're putting the wound. I have makeup up here, it doesn't matter up here. Uh, so what I will be using today is um, Grafto Remodeling Wax, which is amazing stuff, but it's hard to work with because of how sticky it is. So I use like a petroleum jelly, something you put that on your hands and it helps the uh, wax not stick to your fingers because you'll want to put that on there to uh, keep it from sticking to you. Another thing you'll want to do is where you want to put the wood. Put some spirit gum adhesive there and it helps it stick better. It's really sticky stuff. You'll want to just put Spread it out so it gets all over and make sure it stays in the right spot. And then you'll just pat it until it starts getting sticky. She pleases me. Permit her to live in the world of the snakes. Now I will talk to the wolfman and the mummy. As yeah, you wish, master. And to, if you have spirit gum somewhere where you don't want it, uh, there is also the spirit gum removal, which is Alright, so you're going to want to put the control on it. Don't forget, because it is almost impossible to work with this stuff. Very 
much to see the slave girl with her torture. center of your wound. Once you put it all together, it'll look fabulous. Terrifying. You look glamorous while you look terrifying. That's what I do. We're gonna try to shape it. And I'll make it look more really good. Just wipe it down, blend it in as best you can. And honestly, this is like the biggest part you need to do. If you can make the bullet wound, you're pretty much golden if you know how to like use makeup. It's just it's the fun and easy thing to do. It's fabulous. I love the bullet wound. It's like one of my favorites. I am somewhat of a perfectionist, so I want it to look really, really good. So it take me longer. Oh. 
Whoops, sorry, we're just gonna put blood on it. Okay, and before you do anything, if you want, this stuff really goes all right with skin color, but it matches pretty well. That's good, yes, but you also need redness. Any kind of injury will have redness, maybe not bruising until after a while, but you'll definitely want to put red on there. So I have this. Alright. I have this magic blood vex powder. I don't know what brand it is, but I guarantee if you search for it anywhere. I haven't used this yet, and I'm about to see how it looks. I just want to go to like a brush would work. This little brush tool. Just around it. It doesn't matter too much about the shading and whatnot right now. As long as you make it look irritated, you're gonna be splattering blood all over this. I love blood. Blood is my best friend. I, when I can use blood, I just go overboard with it. And if you feel like you have a different way of how to do this, and, you know, something that will work best for you, go ahead and use it. Anything that will do well. Eyeshadow even works. Something that's not sparkly. That's what I normally use. You can use, I had some red eyeshadow on this. Uh, you can use eyeshadow. As long as it's not like too sparkly, you know, like it look all weird. I use pinks and reds. Bruising, redness, stuff like that. It'll look good. Because this isn't how it's going to look when you're all done. Now she dances with his skeleton. the remainder of the evening's pleasures. The wolfman informs me that the next right. one is the woman who Real murdered best her husband on their wedding night. Now she dances with his skeleton. Alright, after you smooth it out a little bit, it'll start like falling down. Just keep it Open that up. On your forehead, it is fabulous. I keep saying fabulous. Okay, 
I use Graftobium blood paste. I love this. Now she I love it. So much. Chunky. And eh. like, ooh. And I love it. Okay. You just want to take a nice, a nice blob. <laughs> Bloom. Put it right in there. Oh no, it's cracking. It's okay. It doesn't matter. You just put it in and under. This is where we'll have the blood drip out. You just go under and push out. Add a little purple. Purple helps. Like I said, you're just gonna be covering most of this blood. Oh, it's too much purple. Oh, oh, too much purple. Whatever. <laughs> Just keep putting your blood on wherever you want it. You like? You, it's a good idea to have some of these chunks just in it. like a nice big chunk sitting out. Easy. regular blood. There we go. And you can just take your tool. And then once you're working on it, work with the colors. I don't have the best blending stuff yet. I am working on getting all my equipment all fabulous and fucking cool stuff. You can bleep that out. Position is nine tenths of the law. You can blend it in more to your skin and see if that helps.
this is the easiest thing you can do, honestly. And you can put this anywhere. You can put it here, here. You can put it anywhere you want. You can put it all over your body. You know, if you're doing like a like a bullet shot. Alright, another thing that I like to do is blood splatter. Like, you do this. This might be too much. We're gonna try to get out. Okay, ready? What is it? Hey, I'm talking to you. What is it? You'll see it. Don't touch it. Usually the goal is to get it more around here. <laughs> but it's kind of hard to aim when you're not looking. I don't want to get it in my eyes. I'm going to have a nice mess to clean up. It's my, that is my motto. Wanna see something really scary? 